welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little different than usual. I got tagged to do the lip product addict tag, something like that. I was tagged by La Femme Deluxe. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. It is a friend of mine and her name is Sarah and she just recently started up a YouTube channel so I will link her channel down below for you guys to check it out. So the first question is, what is your favourite lip balm or lip treatment? And I would have to say mine is my Nivea Lip Butter Vanilla and Macadamia Lip Balm, I think you would call this. I get really, really dry lips. And when I say dry, I mean like cracked and peeling. It's really gross. So whenever that, whenever that happens, I reach for my Nivea Lip Balm. This stuff is amazing and it feels so buttery on the lips. And it just makes my lips feel moisturized and, and soft. And it also smells divine, so that's a plus. So next up is your best eye-catching red, and I would have to say it is my Lime Crime Velveteen in Red Velvet, and this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the most amazing product I've ever tried. These are probably, these Velveteens from Lime Crime are probably my most favourite lip products out of all the lip products in the world. They're very matte. This colour is like a really beautiful deep red. Um, yeah, it's just really pretty and bold and I love the fact that it's matte. But yeah, this would have to be my best eye-catching red. So the next question is your best luxury lipstick and your best drugstore lipstick. I unfortunately don't have any luxury lipsticks. I never really spend that much. I try to keep into my budget. So I'm just going to show you four of my favourite drugstore lipsticks. And I'll start off with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Instant Bull. Not this colour in particular, but this matte lip cream is like one of the greatest of my drugstores. So that's what that is. It's like a dark pink sort of colour. Not too dark, but yeah, I hate my knuckles. I shouldn't have swatched it there. And my next one is the Astralis Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream in the colour Malibu. This colour is absolutely beautiful. Super bright and super pigmented. So that's it there on the top. Astralis Velour Lip in Malibu. The next one I have is a NYX Matte Lipstick in the colour Hippie Chic. This colour is absolutely gorgeous. It is like a... No, it is a coral colour. Like almost neon. So that's it there on the top. I'm not sure if it's coming up on true on the camera, but it is a neon coral type of colour. Really pretty. So if my lighting keeps changing, the sun is going in and out of the clouds. So I'm sorry about that and I can't control it. So anyways, the next lip product I have here is Wet n Wild's Mauve Out of Here. It is a purpley mauve colour. And these are super affordable and great quality. So that one on top is Mauve Out of Here by Wet n Wild. So those are, those are my four favourite drugstore brands. Really pretty. Question four is your best MAC lipstick. And again, unfortunately, I do not own any MAC lipsticks, which is actually kind of sad. But yeah, I just can't afford MAC. Here in Australia, MAC, a MAC lipstick will run for about $36, I think. So that's a lot of money for one lipstick. So in alternative, I decided to show you my two favourite, I guess you could call it indie brand makeup. So the first one is, once again, a Lime Crime Velveteen. And this is in the colour Salem. And... This is probably my favouritest, my most favourite lip product ever. And this colour as well. Because I've never ever seen anything like it. So there it is. So it looks liquid and sheeny right now. But after a while it dries and it turns matte like my red one. So this is Lime Crime Velveteen in Salem. And my next one here is by Melt Cosmetics. And I absolutely love Melt Cosmetics. Oh, gosh. 
they are amazing and this is my, the most unusual color that I have ever seen or worn before and this one is space cake and I actually did a tutorial on this with this lipstick so if you want to check that out you can go and check that out but yeah it's a beautiful gray color like a medium toned gray not like too dark and not too light it's just perfect so it's that one there really really pretty love it so those are my favorite indie brand lipsticks the next question is the most disappointing lipstick you own I don't really own any lipsticks that I'm disappointed by because if I buy a lipstick and I'm disappointed by it I just throw it out so I don't have any to show you so yeah let's just skip that question and move on to the next and the next question is lip liner or no lip liner and I would definitely say yes and no on a regular basis I don't really use lip liner like if I'm doing like an everyday look I won't wake up in the morning and sit there trying to put lip liner on because it's just too time consuming but if I have like a special event or I'm going out I will use lip liner um, my favorite lip liner to use on its own without lipstick is the Essence lip liner in satin mauve this color reminds me of the Kylie Jenner sort of lip this is super affordable I think it runs for about three dollars or something like that I have done a tutorial using this so you can go and check that out if you like um, but yeah that's my favorite lip liner ever and the next question is your favorite lip gloss and I would have to say by far this is my most favorite lip gloss ever in the whole entire world this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. You've, you guys have seen me rave about this lip gloss. Um, I totally recommend it to everyone. All the shades. I have... I don't have all the shades, but I have some. And I absolutely love all of them. They're pigmented for a lip gloss. They're sheer though. They're not like opaque looking. So they're very wearable for like every day and... They're very moisturizing to the lips and they look great. So I'll just swatch this for you so you can get an idea on what it looks like. I actually hate swatching these because I feel like I'm wasting it and <laughs> it makes me sad. But they're really, really affordable. So, yeah. So this is NYX in Creme Brulee. So you can see some colour there, so it's not opaque, but it's sheer. But it's such a beautiful colour, and I wear this almost every day if I'm wearing makeup. For like an everyday natural sort of look. And the last question is uh, something extra. So it's not really a question, but it's my time to show you something a little extra. So I decided to show you the rest of my Melt Cosmetics collection. Because I just think it is such a great brand and more people should know about it. So the colour I have here is By Starlight. And it is a beautiful dark purple colour. And I'll swatch it for you. Really, really pretty. So that's Melt Cosmetics by Starlight. The next one I have is Stupid Love. Another really pretty colour. These are matte by the way. A really bright pink. It's gorgeous. The next one I have here is Summer. And this is a pretty orangey coral type of colour. So that's it there. And these lipsticks are $19 each, I think. So a little bit pricey, but not like too pricey. You could easily buy one every week or every time you get pocket money or something. And the last one here I have is Don't Give A F. And you can kind of guess what that means. And it's a beautiful cobalt blue. Um, I've actually done a tutorial using that lipstick, so if you want to check that out, you can go and check it out. I might link all those videos down below for you guys to see. And yeah, that concludes my Lip Addict product tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it was helpful and showed you some 
cool lipsticks that I'm into. Um, yeah. And I think that's all. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.